You were looking hot tonight, Cardiff. <laughs> okay, Lesotho, also known as the Mountain Kingdom, or known to me as Adventure Capital of the World. I've just come back from two-month placement there, and I can tell you that this is a fantastic budget adventure holiday destination. I was there on the International Learning Opportunity Programme, which is run by Academy Wales and Doll and Cymru. It's a programme that sends out uh, managers in the public and voluntary sector in Wales um, to help organisations over there and to develop new skills which they can then bring back to support organisations in Wales. I was there working on gender equality, surprise, um, working with the Federation of Women Lawyers, FIDA. Um, it's a very patriarchal culture in Lesotho, so it's quite challenging. You can buy a wife there still, so it was very interesting for me. Um, um, violence against women is quite a big issue there, um, and these girls here are campaigning for safe schools um, after, um, in kind of a show of solidarity for the missing Nigerian girls. Another major issue is property grabbing, um, and that is where women and children are forced out, out of their homes and off the land um, after a relative passes away. And so what's happening here is my colleague Lorato is selecting some women to take part in a program where they can write some wills. I was there to help feed her with a strategic plan, and what I realised early on it was that I needed to support the team to make their own plan. So here they are working out some key themes, which then went on to inform their new vision and mission, which is for a nation where women and men are equal under the law and children are protected. And they decided they were going to do that through education programmes, advocacy work and women's empowerment. So. If you can get there on a programme, I'd absolutely recommend that you do so. But if not, why should you go anyway? Here are some things you could do. First of all, you can drink cheap wine. That large glass of wine there costs 90 pence, believe it or not. The exchange rate is brilliant and your money goes a very long way. Uh, secondly, you can complete the longest abseil in the world. I arrived here at Semon Kong saying, I don't think I can abseil. And here I am on day two, um, about to walk off a cliff 204 metres from the ground. And I actually enjoyed it. Big surprise. Um, after that, you can go on a donkey pub crawl. <laughs> this is Ellie, who's one of the Welsh teachers. Um, you take your donkey to the pub, you have one too many beers, and then you try to ride it backwards, singing Calon Lan or other song of your choice. You can visit a lodge. There are lots of lodges to choose from. They are all absolutely beautiful um, and very cheap to stay there too. As I said, the exchange rate is great right now. Um, so that cost is about £12 a night each and you can do all your activities from there. This is Malaya Leia that you can see. Um, you can walk in a donga. Now, the dongas are not a good thing. They're caused by soil erosion. They leave great cavities in the land like you can see here. But they do add an interesting dimension to your walk. Um, once you've done that, you can then walk up a mountain. Of course, it's the mountain kingdom. How can you not? Especially as a rambler. Um, so walk up a mountain, taking the view. This is Morossi Mountain. Honestly, there are mountains everywhere. It's hard to believe unless you go and see it for yourself. So here we are just admiring the stream there. You can take in traditional Basutu life. It's a very traditional culture still. You can see these Basutu huts dotted throughout the landscape wherever you go. And you'll also see people in traditional dress, like that lady has a blanket around her waist. Or people might be wearing the shui shui, as I am now. You can ride a Basutu pony. This is the vehicle of choice for many in the rural areas. And so here we are giving it a try for ourselves in Marija. Um, it's a very handy way for them to get around because the roads are not so great. You can go off-roading on anything in wheels. Um, this is a mountain bike, as you can see, but I also did that on a trail bike and in a truck. The roads are a lot like this. There aren't very many tar roads, and driving is an absolute joy, so you absolutely have to try it. You can take a ride on public transport. Um, usually packed full. It's a cheap way to get around. You can pretty much get anywhere. Most of them look like they're about to fall apart. I really didn't think that door was going to close, but thankfully it did. You can go skiing. Who'd have thought? Skiing in Africa. So um, that was the one thing that I thought I absolutely have to do. If I'm going to Africa and I can ski, I'm going to do that. Um, quite often natural snow here at Afri Ski, but not on this occasion, unfortunately. I think they have snow right now. Um, you can watch an African sunset. It casts a fantastic orange glow across the plains. Um, it's very different to here, and it's something really special to watch. And then after that, you can view a fantastic night sky like with stars that I have never seen before. And finally, you can make memories that will last a lifetime. 
I was there for eight weeks. I had an absolutely incredible experience, made lots of fantastic new friends, and you could do it too.